I hope you guys are doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. Welcome to Lovely News Network and I have a really disturbing story and it's coming from nefarious ass New Jersey, okay? This story is just, it just pisses me off. So what's going down is that we have a 24 year old woman. Her name is Nakira Grinner and basically she's a mother of two beautiful boys and so what happened is that the other day she claimed that she was out walking her son. She had her youngest son strapped to her chest. He's less than a year old. And then she had her toddler son in a stroller. She said she was walking down the street. All of a sudden some random man came up and started attacking her, beat her up. She fell on the ground. And when she finally came to the stroller and her um, oldest son was missing. So at that point she called the police and she reported as a kidnapping. So they went and got bloodhounds. Everybody was searching for this little boy. They couldn't find him. They started questioning the mother and all of a sudden her story was changing. It wasn't making a lot of sense. And then eventually around 3 a.m. they found the baby's body. He had been dismembered, beheaded, burned to death and then his poor body was stuffed in a purse and she left it in her shed. This story is just really, really sick. I want you guys to go ahead and watch this news clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. A missing child case in Cumberland County is now a murder investigation with the mother of that toddler under arrest and tomorrow she is scheduled to appear in court. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore is live in Bridgeton this morning to bring us up to date on this investigation. Crystal, good morning. Good morning, Jen. Well, that mother is currently behind bars at the Cumberland County Jail. Authorities say they found the body of that toddler outside his mother's home. Now detectives are trying to piece together exactly how that toddler died. Now 24-year-old Nakira Griner first reported her son missing to Bridgeton City Police around 6.30 Friday night. The child abduction response team, police dogs and city police searched for 23-month-old Daniel Griner Jr. And about three Saturday morning, they find him. Police arrested Griner. They do not expect to make any other arrests at this time. Investigators have not yet released specific details surrounding Griner's death. We did speak with neighbors who were shocked to hear what happened. Sad. Like, we was very shocked. I have two boys of my own, and I can't imagine something like that happening or a mother doing that to her own child. It's very sad and disturbing at the same time. Now, Griner has been charged with first degree murder as well as second degree desecration of remains. Among other offenses, she's scheduled to appear in court tomorrow. In Bridgeton, Crystal Cranmore, CBS3 Eyewitness News. All right, so you guys just saw that news story. Um, this story is very bothersome just for the fact that I'm a mother of two boys. And to look at this woman, you would not think she would do something like that. I ended up going on her Facebook page yesterday because her Facebook was still open. And um, she's a beautiful girl. She's married to the love of her life. She posted something as recently as just, you know, a few days ago. How, you know, she's so in love with her husband and she loves her family and all this and that. Her husband's a white guy. Um, both their kids are mixed. And so she just takes selfies all day. You know, she's in the mirror. She's showing off her ass. She's showing her snap back. Really pretty girl. You would not think that she would do something like this. She's also mush mouth, you know. She's dating outside of her race, but she's, you know, super pro-black and posting stuff about slavery and Libya and all that other shit, right? But what really bothered me with this whole Facebook persona that she's putting out there, like she's in a perfect relationship and, you know, she has this perfect family and she's so pretty, is if you look at her children's pictures... I could barely find one picture of either one of these boys smiling. They always look tortured. They always look like they were scared, like they had just got done crying before she took the picture. I only saw one picture of the little boy smiling and looking happy when he was with the grandmother. You know, then you saw the expression of a toddler. You saw the expression of a two-year-old. But any other time that she's taking pictures of these kids, they're just sitting there looking like little stuffed animals. They're not smiling. There's no expression. They're kind of dead in the eyes. So I feel like there's been some stuff going on with this woman. She's been abusing these boys for a long time. And I don't know, maybe her husband didn't notice anything because it seems like he works a lot to provide her the lifestyle that she's become accustomed to because she doesn't work. She just sits at home all day and takes pictures on Snapchat and, you 
know, posted pictures of her ring and of her Louis Vuitton bags. You know, it's just a really sad case that she felt the need to do something like this. You know, if you cannot deal with having children, if it's hard enough for you to deal with one child, why turn around and get pregnant and have another one, okay? A toddler is enough to deal with. Why turn around and have another one back to back? So now this poor family's life is forever changed. You have a, a brother now who now has a dead sibling. You have a father who's now mourning the death of his son. And now you have this crazy mother who's probably going to end up doing life in prison. This entire situation is just really sad and sickening. I feel so bad for that baby. He was just so adorable. But you could just tell, to me, looking at those pictures, there's been some abuse going on for a while because there's barely any pictures of that little kid smiling. Even in their Halloween costumes, they're just both laying there. And usually kids are posing and acting like little you know characters and they're really happy and, and giddy for Halloween because they're dressing up and you don't see any type of life in either one of these kids' eyes so that's why again why I always say never look at somebody's lifestyle never look at the bullshit they're posting on social media and think that their life is perfect because behind this perfect facade behind this beautiful face behind this perfect body behind her beautiful marriage behind her beautiful children look what this woman did she sat there faked the kidnapping, murdered and dismembered her own child and burned him to death and literally put him in a purse and hit him in the shed. This is just disgusting. I'm gonna need nefarious ass New Jersey to lock this bitch up and throw away the damn key, okay? I don't wanna hear no shit about mental illness and all that crap. This is just plain evil, point blank period. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire disturbing situation. Once again, coming from nefarious ass New Jersey. All right, deuces.